Hey guys, so I'm here and I'm sorry to do this to you, but um, I've just spent the last hour editing, recording, and uh, doing episode number 22 of our Top Down RPG tutorial. And I was saving along the way, and then all of a sudden my computer crashed, and uh, it really pissed me off because it corrupted the video file of the entire recording, and I am just too tired to go back, retrack everything, and uh, like re record. However, I had got the code saved, and I've uploaded it to the GitHub. Now, I'll show you what we've done, um, and give you a quick rundown. So, in our code folder, we've done a few, um, just a few things. So, we'll open up the HUD folder, the Entities folder, I believe. No, no, just the HUD folder, the Level folder, and the Inventories folder. Um, in here you want to open up um, player actually no that's wrong so first open up your HUD controller and then your level and then you want to come back and we want to find our random speech uh, uh, which should be dialogue controller random dialogue here so I'll run down the quick things that we went through um, and if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll reply. It's just I'm way too tired to be doing this. So what we did is we added a um, a public HUD controller here, in which you need to make sure in the inspector you allocate our HUD controller script to our level script here. We also created a tag in Unity, and we called the tag level manager. So that's this is the only change we did to the level class, so we can close that. In here we added a public level level manager and to get our level manager we did a game object dot find game object with tag and we gave it the tag that we made and then we get its component of level and then down here on the GUI we do it we add a and level manager dot he dot is in is inventory is in the inventory which just makes sure that the player isn't in their inventory before showing the message the HUD control is where we did a few things. We added two variables here, so two private variables of currently selected and max selected. On our start, we make our currently selected set to one. And then in our inventory, we add a max selected is equal to play invent.count. And we add a simple if variable here of the if i is equal to currently selected. And then basically we just change, we added a color here then we also added a, um, yeah, so, and then we added one more thing down here, which is the item description of it. I'll just open up Unity just to show you what we did. And then here, we just set the color back to normal, and we do what we usually do if it doesn't equal the currently selected number. In our update, we have two if checks of key dot arrow, uh, the up and down arrow keys, and, um, we have a max selected, we, we check if it's bigger than one, just so we can, rather than looping through when you don't, it's just use this code. Then we check if it's equal to max selected here, and if it is, we just set it back to one, so it goes back to the top of the list. If not, we just make a plus plus, so it adds one. And basically we do the reverse here, and we check if it's one, and if it is one, we set it to max select, because it's a up arrow. I'm sorry about this, <laughs> that uh, the file is corrupted, but next episode we'll be back and we'll be doing a proper episode. So we press play and we can come up over to our inventory, we buy a few things, then we press I, and you see we've got our two inventories, a stick that's useful in crafting, you can go down and have a look at your rock and all sorts of stuff, and so yeah, a solid material useful for nothing. What I meant by the tag was if you go to your managers and then your level manager, you have to make sure you set where you press add tag. You type in level manager. You go to your level manager tag and then you select it as level manager. So you press play and you press, uh, you see how you get a random 
the, oh yeah sorry our level manager also needs to have our players HUD controller there so you press play walk up you see how he's got that if you press I you see it disappears that's all we that we wanted before okay I'm sorry that episode 22 was like this but next time we'll be back um, I'll see you guys next time have a good night